All right, so now we have WordPress installed on our site and ready to go. And the next section here, I'm just going to dive into the WordPress dashboard and do a quick overview of the WordPress dashboard. So the WordPress dashboard is the main hub of the back end of the website that we can make various changes from. It's also called the admin area or the admin dashboard. There's multiple names for it, but either way, WordPress dashboard, admin area, admin dashboard, it's all the same thing. So when navigating around the dashboard area, it is best to familiarize yourself with the left sidebar menu options. Throughout this course, we'll go through each of the most important aspects of the menu on the left sidebar. So this series is basically going to just cover everything that's important over there. And let's just take a look and dive into how the dashboard looks now and some of the features that are along that left sidebar. And then in the next video after this, we'll dive into some of the settings. All right, so when we're in the dashboard here, there's actually only a few things on the left sidebar when we log into WordPress into the WP-admin area here to get into the dashboard. And we have this dashboard page right here on the left side, this link. And this can give you an overview of your activity on your website here from the back end. And it gives you some things you can do like a quick draft and next steps, more actions. You can actually set up some plugins that will display in this area. And you can minimize them as well just by doing things like this to close it and then open it if you want to have a display. I don't really spend a whole lot of time in this actual dashboard tab. Mainly I do updates from here, but that's about it. If we go down to where it says posts, this is where we'll actually be writing blog posts that we would have on our website. And we're going to get into that more as we go along, but that's where you would do it. You would just hit add new and start writing your post. And the next section right here is media. And in media is where we could upload different things like pictures, videos, and sound content as well, as far as that goes. And we can go down here to pages. This is where you would set up the pages that you would want to display on your website. If we go over here right now, there's not any pages displaying in the top and we can change our theme, which I'll get into here shortly and display different, a whole different look for the site very easily and change everything as far as the pages and the look go. So if we go down here, this would be the comments section where you can manage comments. You can approve, see which ones are pending, which ones are spam. You can trash or delete them. And I'm going to go through the comments as well as we go through this. Here we have the appearance section and the appearance is where you set your theme. So right now our theme looks like this. If we wanted to change it, we can just go to activate on this one, this 2017 theme. And then if we just go over here and we refresh, now we have a whole new theme or look to our website over here. So it's really easy to change your theme as you go through and start to learn WordPress. There's also some other important things in the customization area. There's going to be a lot of things that you can do under appearance. Widgets are another important one. There's menus, header, and the theme editor, which I'm not going to get into within this course here or the series here, but I do want you to know that's where you'd be able to edit code as far as that goes. So if we move along down here, we have plugins, and plugins, as I said earlier, are kind of like your smartphone apps. They give your website more power, and you can install plugins in here by clicking Add New. And I'm going to go through some good plugins to have. The ones that they actually showed like Loganizer and Elementor. Those are some good plugins. And I'm going to go into some of the good plugins that you might want to have on your website and how to install them and activate them and get started with them. And next we have users. I'm going to cover how you can actually change user levels and give people different levels of authorization to make changes on your website. We're going to go through that as we go through this course here. And then we have tools down here. I'm not going to cover too much with the tools except maybe the import and export. And down here we have settings and there's a few different things within the settings area here that we can change such as the permalinks is probably the most important one, which I will also get into. The reading also has an important section. And right here is where we can change our site title and tagline that says my blog, my WordPress blog right here at the top. We can change that in this area right here and just simply save the changes as well. But we'll get into all that as we go through the rest of this series here. Next, we're going to just start editing some of these pre-installed or pre-existing settings that come by default in WordPress. Now, depending on what host you have, there might be different pre-made settings, but I want to get rid of some things and start to clean up the site a little bit 
and let's dive into that here in the next one where we just edit some of the settings.